Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I'm so glad you could join us today. So have you told someone today that you love them? Uh, if you haven't, you need to make sure you tell your mom and dad happy Valentine's Day and how much you love and appreciate them. So why do we love? Because Jesus loved us first, right? Um, remember on Wednesday night, if you joined us for Wednesday night services, um, 1 John 4, 19 was our verse and it says, I got it right here. We love because he first loved us. So God loved us first and sent his son to die for us so we can love others. And uh, I am so thankful for you guys and I love y'all and I love that you join me each week. So today I'm gonna do a little object lesson and we haven't done one of those in a while. So when we're born, we're born, um, we, we, we learn about Jesus, but we don't really have Jesus in our heart yet, do we? No, we're just kind of empty, right? But one day when we get old enough, and some of you have already made that decision, you're going to have the opportunity, and, and, and you'll know, I promise, some of, some of the kids this morning said that they hadn't done it yet, and that's okay. People decide at different times, but at some point you're going to realize that you're a sinner and that Jesus came to save you, and you want to invite him to be the Lord of your life. And so that's something we do when you're old enough. And when we do that, our hearts are filled with Jesus. And so, now don't get me wrong. You guys that come to church and y'all listen to these Bible stories and your parents are teaching you at home, you do have a lot of Jesus in your life, but he, you just haven't invited him to be Lord of your life and, and to come into your heart. But you will one day. And I'm so thankful for that decision already. I'm thankful for those of you that have made it. All right, so th that's what it looks like when Jesus comes into our heart. And he fills us up. And um, and that's the verse I was going to read to you this morning. And it's one you probably know by heart. And it's called John 3.16. And I'm going to read it. Um, but maybe you can say it along with me. John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And then on the 17, God sent his Son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world. So God loved us so much that he sent his Son to die for our sins so that we don't have to be punished for our sins. And he didn't just, it didn't, didn't say just one person. He didn't just die for Miss Carrie. He died for everyone, for God so loved the world that gave one and so that, so that anyone, whoever believes in him, can have eternal life. So what do we do with that information? We want to share it, right? You don't want to just keep all that bottled up, do you? You want to share it with other people. You want to tell them how much God loves them. How are some, what are some ways we can share God's love? Good ideas. So we can um, show... Uh, open the door for people. We can help our parents clean the house. There's all kinds of ways we can share God's love. We can show somebody that um, maybe uh, most people are being ugly to. We can be a friend to them. If they're sitting by themselves, you can go and, and join them and, and show, them that, show them God's love through that. You don't necessarily have to say it. You can just show them through actions. And when we do that, the whole world will be filled with God's love. The more we love people, the more they're going to love people, and it just goes on and on. So look, oh, right here, what's going to happen when we share our love. Now, and it's because I dropped it, you may not be able to see as good. Do you see how it's going up to the other hearts? Do you see how that heart's spreading to the others? Let me see if I can do it better, because I messed that one up. I'm so sorry. Let's see. I'm going to draw real quick. Just a do-over, because I dropped that one in the water. <laughs> I'm so thankful God loves me, aren't you? All right, I'm so thankful I have people in my life to love. All right, let's, let's try that again. Maybe Miss Carrie won't drop it this time so I can show you what it was really supposed to look like. How it looks when we share God's love to others. Maybe you could try this at home. This is just a paper towel and pen. You have to use a pen. You can't use a pencil. And um, eventually you'll see that love spreading out of that heart, our heart, because we have Jesus in our heart, we have Jesus in our life, and we can spread it and share it with others. Look at there, you see it? And so I'm going to let it keep going. But remember our verse today is, For God so loved the world, the whole world, 
but he gave his one and only son that whoever, that's anybody, believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So don't hold that in. You want to share the love of Jesus just like this is doing it. Maybe you can do it for yourself and you can see how it does even better. But share his love this week. Share his good, the good news um, that Jesus came for us. Share, uh, be good to a friend. Be good to somebody that maybe not as nice to you. You can show his love in, in all kinds of ways. Let's close in prayer. God, thank you so much for this day, this Valentine's Day, Lord. Um, help us this week to show your love to someone who needs it, Lord. There's so many around us that are hurting and are going through things. And help us just to be your light and to be a friend and show your love in everything we do. Thank you so much for being so good to us. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, this did it now. Good deal. So maybe you'll have a chance to do that. But I love you guys. I hope you can show somebody love. Even if you just tell somebody you love them, your parents would love to hear that or your grandparents. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.